So guys, I, we are live streaming to YouTube live and we are on Blab. Now I'm gonna explain how we're doing this here. Let me put in the chat message, our live stream on YouTube live as well. So basically what we're doing here is uh, I'm using a software called vMix, um, which is a live streaming software. Oh, actually look at that, my shirt is backwards. Uh, how's my audio, by the way, guys? Because I'm using two mics, and um, I want to make sure the audio is coming through okay. So basically what we're doing is we are streaming both to Blab and to YouTube Live at the exact same time. So that's really cool. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to pull this off, but it looks like it's no problem. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to pull up our Blab um, on my back here on my other one. So let's look at the profile. And uh, yeah, we can just use virtual. I'm using a virtual set, which is kind of fun. And uh, there's our blab there. So I have the blab behind me. Um, just testing some of this stuff out to see what, what you can do with this technology. Uh, I'm a big fan of blab. I think this is sweet. And yeah, right behind me, that is me. Behind me, behind me, behind me. It's like a, a loop. Thanks. Okay, cool. Audio is good. Um, so yeah, uh, I wanted to show some people how to use um, Blab, and uh, YouTube Live is 10 seconds behind Blab. Yeah, YouTube Live is slower, but the but YouTube Live is 1080p. You know, Blab is not even 720. I mean, it's a square. It's not even a widescreen format, so that would make sense. Um, and YouTube also has to. YouTube does adaptive bitrate streaming. So basically, YouTube will take a 1080p stream that I'm sending it, and it will actually, you know, change it to 720, change it to 480, change it to 360, and so anyone with a smartphone or a tablet can pick up that stream pretty easily. But yeah, this gives me the ability to do some pretty cool stuff. Um, it looks like I got to stay away from um, I got to stay away from using text because it's not flipping it right. I can maybe look into some different ways of flipping my image. But yeah, um, where, where are you calling from, by the way, Noah? Oh, it's coming out right on your end. OK, so it does actually look all right. So hmm, that's interesting. Oh, Minnesota, cool. I wonder, is there snow there right now? Blap, oh yeah, Blap flips it like a mirror, gotcha. Yeah, so so on, for some reason, the way I'm looking at it, so this, on my shirt right here, it says PTZ Optics, you're seeing that the right way. So yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just an interesting, uh, so the cool thing about this is that it's being recorded in 1080p on YouTube Live, and then it's also being recorded on Blab, which is kind of fun, um, which, you know, is interesting. Um, a lot of our users on YouTube have never seen or heard of Blab. So I wanted to share um, behind me. Actually, maybe I'll go full screen with this. See how this looks. This is going to look good. I know it's going to look okay on YouTube Live, but let's see how it looks on Blab. Um, so I was going to think I'm going to do this next Friday. So this is so move over a little bit. So this is Blab. Everybody who's never seen Blab before, um, basically, um, I can use my arrow here. Uh, this is like one of four squares. So there's like one square there, one square there, one square there. Um, people can join in if they want to, and basically, um, you know, it becomes kind of like a collaboration experience. So I've been playing with the idea. Because uh, every week we live stream on YouTube Live, and I've been playing with the idea of well, definitely having a after show uh, blab session, right? I mean, that's what it's meant for. But I've also been playing with the idea of also simultaneously live streaming the blab um, as as kind of a, a space to kind of get the blab rolling, and then um, you know, once the live stream on YouTube is over, transfer over to blab and kind of seamlessly, so it's like already rolling. And then um, you know, end our YouTube live session. Which you know, the reason why we use that is because 1080p uh, YouTube has you know the best adaptive bitrate streaming and everything. So we use that. And um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. So 
You use Blab as an added benefit and simulcast there too. Oh, so you, you simulcast to Blab. So do you do YouTube Live as well or just Blab? Or how do you simulcast? simulcast? Do you, oh, Amnon Nissan. What's up? You know uh, Tom Sinclair. I saw your show with Tom Sinclair a couple weeks ago. Good to, good to hear from you. Um, yeah, I should tweet out that we're doing this. I, I wasn't sure how long we were going to be doing this, but... Um, You do eight CDNs plus Blab? How do you do that? That's crazy. I mean, with, with vMix, which is what we use, I thought that's what, I know that's what Tom Sinclair uses. You can live stream, you can send two live streams, and you can do an external virtual webcam. So I'm right now I'm sending a live stream to YouTube Live, and uh, I'm just using a virtual webcam for, um, oh, what's it called, rstream.io? Interesting. Restreaming. Oh, that is cool. I've never heard of that. Wow. And look at that. I learned that on Blab. So do you find that it's an easier, it's a better way to stream to like Twitch? What? I've never even heard of Hitbox. So, wow. So you stream to uh, eight CDNs and Blab. That's crazy. Now, well, Restream's Restream won't stream to Blab because Blab doesn't accept RTSP streams. Um, but I'm assuming that. Uh, oh, cool! Come on in, Amnon. This is awesome. How you doing? All right. How are you? Not bad. Thanks for joining. Yeah, I mean that the 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 problem with all the other programs like Wirecast, VMix. Vid blaster, whatever, is that you are limited in how many streams you can send out, not just because they limit you, but the tax on the CPU. Uh -huh. So Restream actually does it all for you in the cloud, so you don't have to worry about any of the CPU usage. Right. I send one stream to Restream IO, and they have about 20 different CDNs that they work with and you can choose which one do you want it to go to and that's it interesting so it's let's unbelievable. see that restream .io. Um, .io. that is cool i i have like never heard of it now there's really another there's another one joycaster hmm. uh that's the one that stephen haywood is using but sure. that's a pay service What's it called? I want to write that down. Streamcaster? Joycaster. It's I think it's J O I Caster. Joycaster. Now I saw that he has an Apple TV channel. I want to learn how to do that. You you get an app developed just like uh, the yeah. Roku. We have Roku. You get an app uh, developed and then you submit it to Apple and if they take it, they take it. Oh, and then can you just up? Wow. So I'm going to have to look into that. Because <laughs> I, I think it's cool to have like an Apple TV channel or a Roku channel. You know, if I had at the time, I'd sell that stuff up. It's very nice to have that. That This way people can, can watch it on any device that they wish. If, if they want to sit at home and watch it on a 60-inch TV or if they want to look on their phone. So for those of you who are on YouTube Live, I think you're getting a really good example of what you can do on um, on Blab. I'm here joined with Amnam Nissan. And uh, Amnam, for those of you who don't know, is a really well-known uh, live broadcaster. I guess you come from the radio world, if I'm not mistaken. And this was not planned at all. Uh, we had no plans on doing this. Um, this is just how Blab works. Hi, Spencer. How you doing? I mean, this is just so much different than YouTube Live. Because when I do YouTube Live, you know, it's this huge production and we just do what we do. Uh, but this is so interactive. It's awesome. That's what it's for. That's why the added benefit is when we do shows from the studio here, it's, it's a show. And, yeah, people can chat and they can call in and all that. But... We, on Sunday morning, maybe we'll get like 6,000 viewers and maybe 
a handful of them will be chatting. On Blab, the the audience on Blab is completely different. They are there in order to interact, not in order to sit there and watch a show. So I'm going to answer Spencer's question, um, which is, yeah, I know. It's exactly. It's crazy. I, I love it. Um, oh, wait. I didn't answer that. Um, it's uh, we, we I use vMix. I don't know what. What, what do you use, Amnam? I use Wirecast. You use Wirecast? Nice. Um, how do you get 6,000 viewers? Are you serious? That's that's a, a something that, I mean, remember, we've been doing this for years and years. Sometimes we get seven or 8,000. Sometimes we get 4,000. But people are coming from, yeah, because it's been for so long. I mean, I've been doing the show now for 20-some years on the radio and then on the Internet since 2008. But answer him, answer his question. About the green screen, the background effect? Yeah. So, yeah, Wirecast is four ninety five, so it is expensive. I like I use vMix, um, which is $60, but it's only for Windows, it's not for Mac. Um, I really like them because I, I use the virtual sets. And if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken, you can't, like, zoom in to a virtual set on Wirecast like you can with vMix. Is that I correct? Don't. I don't use the virtual sets. Yeah, so I love the I virtual think, sets. I think you're right. I, but I but but Wirecast just released virtual sets, and um, I don't I and I've ne I, they're kind of kept playing catch up with VMix because VMix is always faster and better in my opinion. Um, not always, but most of the time. And uh, the virtual sets are huge. So yeah, yeah. VMix is um, here. I'll post the link for that. It's just vmix.com. If I had to start over, I'll probably do it with vmix because the developer is a lot more responsive to the users, to his clients. Apparently, the guy there, his name's Martin Sinclair. Right. He's based, people describe him as an alien. Like, you know, he goes to a trade show, he meets everybody, he shakes your hand, he's always there, he never goes to the bathroom, and then he's gone. And he's in his hotel room coding. He's just... Working on the program, that's all he does. And uh, yeah, he's he's an incredible guy. And his product is just absolutely amazing. Like I'll just show off a couple of things here that I can do. So this is a virtual set. This is like a um, classroom uh, that I use from time to time. And on YouTube, uh, it, you're getting like a full 1080p widescreen video. On Blab, you're just getting a piece of what, what's what's being streamed here. Um, so I am streaming to YouTube Live. Uh, so if you want to take a look at the difference between YouTube Live and Blab, here's the, the YouTube Live version again. I'll, I'll just post that. But, um, you know, I, I feel like you can basically use both at the same time without really being a problem. Again, Blab is good for what it is. It's yeah. not good for doing classes. It's not good for doing anything professional, in my opinion, because because of that square yeah. and because it cuts it off. Last night, one of the shows we do here is Lessons of Vietnam. And last night was the anniversary of the Tet Offensive. So Bill brought a PowerPoint presentation. And when I saw it on Blab, I told everybody, I said, guys, you need to go to Nissan Communications to watch it there because it there there's text and it cuts it. You you get nothing. No, I agree. I mean, you could work around it. Like behind me, I can put whatever I want in this TV I, here. Yeah. But uh, and I can put a PowerPoint in there. So if I if I massaged it right, no, you know, I could that, probably get it to work. And I think I think Spencer, you're right. I mean, it's great for certain things, and interviews is definitely one of them. But it's not—it's not, not going to give you the 1080p quality that broadcasters are used to. In fact, a lot of broadcasters are probably like, "Put the no, I'm not going to touch this," you know. But it's okay. But the thing—the problem with it is, if you want to show a page from a magazine, mm -hmm. there is no way that anybody will be able to read it. I don't care if you did 4K. Yeah. It's no, oh, I agree. Still, I agree. It's small. Yeah, it's too That's small. That's the problem. Yeah, it's too small. But I mean, what other service can you have Amnam Nissan join you when <laughs> you're in the middle <laughs> of testing whether or not you can actually use YouTube Live or not? Um, uh, in fact, 
we we never used you youtube live because of the i you talking about 10 seconds delay i found out that it's more like 45 and 50 seconds delay and when you do a show that has chat it's by the time some you get back oh i see already over saying. and you're on another subject and it's again youtube is good for what youtube was set up for mm -hmm. in my opinion yeah oh no I, I i totally agree with you um in fact let's just go ahead and show what youtube live looks like i'll show this behind us here um so here it is here this is what YouTube Live looks like. And Blab is behind me. So it's going to zoom out just a little more to get everything. There we go. Okay, so can you see the whole, I can, just a little more. Um, it's hard because, you, you know, you're normally Wait. thinking I should be able to see, you know, my whole thing here. But you got to work with this crazy yeah, screen. You have to move it. There we go. So that's YouTube Live there. So you get the full 16 by 9, 1080p view. Everything is in view. Um, and like if I zoom out here, you're just seeing a small part square of the whole thing. There's a, there's a lot more there. Um, so yeah, yeah, it, it's interesting for sure. Um, for conversations, it's great. Mm -hmm. He, well, I'm going to have to follow you. So, Anna, how, how often do you use Blab? Every show. We should, we do 10 or 11 shows a week here. So every time we do a show, we also simulcast it to Blab. So how do you simulcast to Blab? Is it a virtual webcam that you're using? Well, yeah. From, uh, from Wirecast, you use the virtual camera. Yes to go to Blab because Blab has to you like you say, well, the, the problem with it is Blab is WebRTC and they have to use whatever the, the default is kind of. But WebRTC and, does have um, screen sharing capabilities, so, but, but they just haven't built it in yet. It's, it's not the same thing. I mean, which screen are you going to share? I don't want to share the whole screen. I want to share the video which is on the screen. Mm -hmm. So I've never done screen sharing in in any type of a broadcast. We so Anna, you already just realized nobody on the YouTube live system can hear what you're saying. So I'm gonna um, I'm just gonna turn off my YouTube live. So it is possible everybody you can definitely do it but um, you definitely have to you know, you have to think it through. There are ways to do this, um, but I just realized that no one's going to be able to well, hear that. Um, that's that's I okay. can't even see you. So I'm going to stop the stream. It was 18 minutes. You we'll just you, continue on Blab. Yeah, you got the information, and that's that's good for you to know. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's fun. I mean, I like how um, two Blab accounts, two devices. Oh. So you're saying... I don't know what you're talking about. Two Blab accounts and two devices. I have no idea what he's talking about. I guess about. what he's saying is you could have two. Why would you want to do that? You can log into Blab multiple times with different uh, IDs, devices. even with the same ID, but I don't understand what he's. Yeah. What's the purpose? Oh, one device pointed at you, one device oh, pointed at your screen. Well. That makes sense. Yeah, you could do that, but that's so crude. <laughs> I know, but that's what Lab's all about. It's like yeah. you're know, doing what you can with what you have. No, the the way I mean, Spencer, if, Spencer, if you want, if you want to understand it, it's it's sort of like you using uh, Wirecast or Vmix. Vmix has a virtual camera too, right? That's what I'm using now. Yeah. So the picture that you see over there behind. I didn't catch your I didn't catch your name. Oh, it's Paul. Paul. The picture that you see behind Paul. No, no, come on back, Paul. <laughs> or even that's okay. L like that. That's fine. You are taking the 16 by 9 and you're sending it to YouTube. 
to YouTube Live. And that goes in through vMix. Yep. Then what would happen is instead of Blab, instead of you setting up Blab with your own camera that's pointing at you, that you're talking to, you are telling Blab to use the virtual camera that's built into vMix or to Wirecast. Yep. At that point, instead of a camera at you, you have the same picture that you see behind Paul onto Blab. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, again, that it's cutting it, it trims it on the ends, on, on both sides, to fit it in the 4x4, four 4x3. Four, four yeah, so just to give you an idea, like I can put anything I want in this image behind me. So right. I can play videos, I can put a PowerPoint there, I can put anything I want. So, I, and this is the first time I've ever tried this, but I, I do it all the time on YouTube Live, and I wanted to just see what it would be like on Blab, and I guess if you wanted to make a really professional presentation, you know, on Blab, um, you could do it in this fashion. And this is literally just, I could put anything I want. I could put a picture of my mother in this display. You know, I could put whatever I want, a video, I could put a desktop capture, you know, so I could share. Then I could share my screen, right? Now, now, I'll take it a step farther and say, yes, you can include a 16 by 9 picture on Blab. But it's going to be a lot smaller. What you do is you shrink and shrink and shrink until it fits side by side. The sides fit inside. There we go. Okay, so this is... This is a screen capture. So right. if I go to, you know, vMix, now you should be seeing um, my vMix, right? Right. So this is just so everyone can see yeah. kind of what we're talking about here. Um, this is a virtual set here. So I can zoom out. I can zoom in. Um, this is what a virtual set looks like. And then inside the virtual set, you can... Uh, choose what you want to be in in the television so that's called your screen and i can put a television there and what i did is i just put a desktop capture there um and basically anything i have on my screen is now in the television behind me so yeah i mean we're it's pretty cool stuff and, and you can actually you know what actually am not i didn't realize is that vmix is actually free up to like they don't let you do 720. It's like the like below right. 720. Right. And that would be fine for Blab. And anything will be oh yeah, absolutely will be fine for Blab. But the nice thing about Blab is that you don't need anything. That's why a lot of the people that you see on Blab, all these coaches and all these snack oil salespeople, whatever, that's why they use it. All these millionaires who are going to make you a millionaire are using a free service because they don't want to buy a piece of software that will make it look professional. But that's why, I mean, all you need is your cam and you don't even need, in many cases, they don't even use a microphone. So that's the nice thing about it. Now, if you're talking about doing both, then yes, you need a piece of software. Yeah, let me let's let's show how a lower thirds works. Yeah. So this is a lower thirds here. So that's a lower thirds title. So Blab versus YouTube Live. Um, but let's show a couple cool uh, lower thirds, Abnam. Because I know you've seen a couple of these. In fact, you know what's really cool is have you ever you know what a stinger effect is, right? Yeah. What do you think about that? Oh, I mean, it's you can do a lot of stuff with with vmix and also with wirecast i don't do all these flashy things um the the, the shows are more talking heads uh, interviews but yes it's it's unbelievable and who who asked the question solution turk uh so did that stinger effect go over my whole screen i can't see because i'm yeah so it goes over the whole screen does that come through right oh yeah Nice. But I know that we don't see 16 by, I mean, on the 16 by 9, you may have more more information on the sides, and that gets trimmed. Yes. But lower thirds are part of any uh, 
broadcasting software like vmix like wirecast like vidblaster any of those they, they all have a way to do lower that's the whole idea behind these pieces of software is they work just like you are in a tv station but yeah, and the lower thirds uh, are looking like they're trimmed, but it's just like Amnon said. You know, currently, you know, this is this is. I have it set for sixteen by nine, so it's it's doing ten eighty p, right? And Lab is squishing it down into a square box. It, no, so it, it's not. It's not squishing it. it no, it's not. It, it cuts it. That I like. It's not squishing it. Yeah, it's if it was squishing it, you would see the whole thing. But they just go and they cut and throw away and cut and throw away from this. Which is probably better because you don't want to be all squished. Yeah, yeah, because the ratio. Which I mean, you look fine because you know I don't care what is what other filing cabinet you have over to the right hand side of you. I just want to see you in the center. So it works for probably ninety five percent of the people that and are that, using it. Yeah, that's what they do. I mean, the shows we do from the the studio, so. Over there, it's completely a different story. Like you're sitting over there, but uh, yeah, on on Blab, I mean, pe people just need to go to Blab and go and look around. You don't have to even sign in. You can what we call lurking. You can go to different Blabs and watch what people are talking about, and and then you can join if you want. You have to log in with your Twitter uh, ID. So let's just show off a couple more cool uh, vMix effects, and then we'll have to run. Um, but the virtual sets are one of my favorite. And uh, so here, I'm going to put myself in a church. Here I am. This is the, the, the Blab Church, the Church of Blabs. <laughs> yep. That's all Blab at church today. <laughs> but, I mean, you get the point, right? Is this coming through okay? Yeah. Yeah, so here I am in a church now. Um, and yeah, I mean, we've got a ton of, uh, yeah, people are giving a little LOL there. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is the kind of stuff you can do uh, with vMix. And here's the cool thing. Yes, vMix is free. Um, but vMix, there is, there is a version that is free, but yes. vMix is not free, really. Yes. And the, but the funny thing is, is that the version of vMix that's free would work perfect with Black. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's what, because I've always wondered, like, what are you going to do with that free version? You know, you can't even do 720. There's no point. Um, but heck, if Blab is only giving you that much anyway, right? There you go. You know, what and you you're, require. And you're way overdoing it with 1080. I mean, because they don't support it. No. Oh, I know exactly. I know this is way overdone. But I like 1080 personally. Do you how do you, do you live stream in 1080 or 720? 720. Yeah, I, I used to do 720, but I beefed up my laptop and I want to do 1080, not for the live streaming purposes, but for the recorded archive videos later. Okay, yeah. You know, and the thing is, is that I don't really want to live stream and record directly to my laptop because those files are huge and they take forever. With YouTube Live, if you stream that to them 1080, they'll record it in 1080 for you. So that's like one of my secrets that I learned is that why record it all, just stream it and take those files. Now, the only problem with that is that if there's a blip in your network or something True. happens, then your whole recording's screwed. True. And that does stink. Um, well, but yeah. I mean, that's life. So let's take a look at a couple more virtual sets because I've got I've made a bunch of these. A lot of these are actually, uh, let's see. I showed you guys the school. Oh, this one's fun. Let's see how this one looks. This is uh, my virtual little island. <laughs> Welcome to my island, Amnon. That's neat. <laughs> so this is yeah, and I mean if you if you ever get a chance to use BMix, I'll send you a couple of these. Uh, you can play around with them. Uh, but yeah, this is a fun one. Um, do you have one on top of a mountain? Uh, that's a good point. My friend and I are actually going to make some in space. That's what, that's my next project. We're going to do some space virtual sets. Well, let's see. What else do I have? Um, I got like some sports announcement ones, which are kind of fun. Like, uh, ooh, 
but it's all screwed up. Never mind. Um, what other ones do I have that are fun? Just, you know, like this one's a, let's see. Uh, you guys will like this one, I think. This is kind of like a hangout space. Kind mm -hmm. of. Uh, it's not even set up right. You got to do some tweaking to get all this stuff right, but. Yeah, you yeah. got. I mean, if some some people doing it in a way that it just doesn't look right, but I remember a few years ago when we were using VidBlaster. I started with VidBlaster, oh, yeah. and I don't know three, four years ago, somebody from Florida was actually asking Tom on my show if he can get VidBlaster to zoom in and out together with the background, and it was, and no, there is no way to do it. Until today, I don't think you can do it. But you can, but are you talking about what I'm doing right now with Zemans? Yeah, to to zoom the the foreground you together with the background, so it looks like you're really zooming within the room. Yes, which is what yeah. Vmix can do. Right, VidBlaster would would zoom you, but the background would stay in place, and it was. He wanted it to do what it does now. This is, we're talking three, four years ago. So I'm sure today he's got something that does it. I never tried to do anything with uh, with uh, virtual sets in Wirecast, so I don't know. Yeah, that looks great. That looks like you're sitting there. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty legit. Um, yeah. Oh, it's very legit. You know, I mean, it's, it, it's fun stuff. If you didn't tell people that that was a, a virtual set, they wouldn't know. Well, thank you, because I actually made this one myself. So now tell me about those cameras. Oh, you want to talk about the cameras? If any, if if people want to hear about it, this is uh, an interesting uh, concept. Let me just get this. Because I always, I always use the uh, cameras that. Other people say, what? I would use a capture card with CCTV cameras and capture card with video cams. And oh, no, we got we to gotta help you out. Let me let me grab a camera real quick, and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, you got to have a camera laying around here somewhere. Um, actually, you know what I can do? It won't look right, but I've got a camera mounted over here I can zoom into. Let's see here. There's one. That one's mounted on the wall. So does that is that something like those uh, cameras that you put in in a room and you can move it left and right and? Yeah. So let's see here. There we go. Oh, I'm moving it and the other one's seeing it too. I don't, but yeah, you can you can pan tilt and zoom them um, around, uh, which is fun. And uh, yeah, they're just they're great cameras. I mean, everyone seems to like them. Tom, Tom just sold a couple today. Interesting. What's going on? Where am I? I'm trying to look at lab here. It's all screwing me up. It's cutting me off. And these are um, HDSDI or HDMI? HDSDI. We could do HDMI, um, IP streaming, um, IP control. Uh, USB. Um, so, you know, I mean, the, all the information is on our website, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's fun. It, it's They're great cameras. Everyone seems to love them. So we showed off all the fun stuff, and um, this was fun. This was a cool lab. Thanks for, for jumping on. It's always fun to have you. Does anyone have any other questions before we run off? Because I got I to gotta run. We're doing a blab tomorrow. Um, I think we're going to do our live stream on YouTube Live and blab tomorrow. So it seems to work pretty good. Um, VidBlaster. Is VidBlaster free? Is there a free version of that? Mm, no. Not even close. If you get the free one, it, uh, it puts a banner on the lower left corner that says that it's... It, not too bad. Identifies it as I mean it, it ruins the whole thing. The same thing with Wirecast. 
it's there is a their logo just kind of fades in on the whole screen and goes out if it's if it's a trial vmix is the only one that does it right and again it's because martin listens to people yep He does. He listens and he he does things quickly, um, and you know that's all you can ask for. For you yeah. know, and right now way, he's building in camera control for PTZ optics, honestly. So you're going to be able to go into VMix and control the cameras. Yeah, and again, I I don't have really a use for tell. I mean, panning and all that because the studio is sort of like stationary and, and there are chairs where the host and co-host and guests are sitting, so it's okay. But uh, about Blab, somebody, uh, whoever asks if VidBlaster is free, you type slash Q, not Q slash. Huh. Just just so you know, if you if you hit the slash, it'll give you all the the commands that are um, associated with the slash. There is more than just a question. All right, everybody. Well, that was fun. Thank you all for being part of this. Um, you know, it's always fun to have these live streams. And this is just a big test for me. I just wanted to make sure that we can live stream on Blab and YouTube at the exact same time, which we've proven that we can. It seems like people love these virtual sets. So, uh, Hit me up if you need a couple. Definitely have some on on uh, on tap. And uh, yeah, this has been fun. All right, Paul. All right, Amnon. Have a good one. Take care. You too, man. See you later. Bye, everybody.